Hello everybody, this is Frido here, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple minimap. Um, this will not show other players on the minimap though, so, yeah. So you're going to insert a folder into the workspace, and you're going to place everything, so, well, first decorate your map, and then place everything you have, and put it into your folder. You're going to name your folder map, alright? And now, you're going to uh, insert a part, and don't put this into the map. You'll see what we're going to do with this. So, just make it like a cube like this. You could also make it a sphere. doesn't matter, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to make it a cube. So, you're going to just... It's doing yellow. Still some nice color. And now, you're going to go to Starter GUI and insert a... Screen GUI. Now you can't see what I'm doing over here when I'm inserting stuff, so just follow my directions. Then you're gonna right click on Screen GUI and insert an object, and then you're gonna insert a viewport frame. And then it'll pop up over here. And I'm, you can like make it as big as you want and put it wherever you want, but I'm just gonna put my smoke over here about in the corner. And now, um, you're gonna put, go into properties and make, put the background transparency to one. And now you're gonna right click on screen GUI, insert an object, and now you're gonna insert a local script. Oh wait. But yeah, do that and you're gonna name this part character. Alright? Capital C. Character. I think that's how you spell it. Then you're gonna in, and then you're gonna pull this over into the viewport frame. So now you can't see it. Double click on the script and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see. So yes, make sure you have a local script, not a regular script. <clears throat> and now we're gonna start with a couple of variables. Hold on. Sorry, that was gross. <coughs> No, I'm a little under the weather today. So now you're gonna say local, let's say VP equals script.parent colon wait for child. And then you're gonna say view port frame. Yeah, the computer knows what's good. And now you're gonna say local uh, CP equals VP colon wait for child. Wait for child, and then character. All right, and now you're gonna say local uh, map equals a uh, workspace. Uh, workspace colon wait for child. And this will be the name that you have over here of your folder. Whatever you named your folder. Oof. Um, now you're going to say map. Um, yeah, map colon colon dot parent equals VP. And now let's say local uh, C. Local C equals instance.new camera uh, workspace. <clears throat> now you're going to say C dot current camera. Current camera. Wait, no, not current camera, camera type. <laughs> Sorry. Camera type equals scriptable. Scriptable, yeah. <clears throat> and now let's say local. 
h equals now this is going to be how zoomed out your map is and how big your character is going to be so the more zoomed out your map is the, the smaller your character is going to be so let's say 110 actually now, you're, now we're going to say local uh, p equals game dot players dot local player <coughs> now you're gonna say p <coughs> p dot character added character added added colon wait parenthesis all right now you're going to say vp dot current camera this is where we use current camera vp dot dot current camera equals c yeah all right so now we're just we're almost done just have to do this now so we're going to say game colon get service Run service. Run service. Dot render stepped. Colon connect. And then usually anytime it says connect, it's you're gonna do a function. What well, leads us to a function. Like this. So now let's say local POS, oh, <laughs> local POS equals um, p dot character. Oh, yeah, character dot humanoid root part. Root part dot position. Now you're going to say C dot C from A equals C from A dot new, yeah, dot new vector three <coughs> dot new uh, POS dot X comma height no just h says so a variable yeah pos dot z yeah and pos now we're just about done with this final line and hopefully this will work CP dot C from A. Yeah. From A equals P dot character dot humanoid root part. Root part dot C from A. And that's all we have to do. So hopefully this will work. Let's give it a try. And it works. Huh. My your character is obviously big, so you can just take that out of the viewport frame or adjust the height in the script right here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. Nah, I think the height's okay. I just got to make it smaller. It's a little smaller. Now let's see how this looks. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's a little better. But yeah, you can make it your guy as big as you want. And yeah, uh, though this won't work under roofs, 
just go over here to the house. Yeah, I'm de definitely gonna have to make your uh your character a lot smaller. Smaller. Yeah, it doesn't work under roofs. But yeah, keyword simple at the beginning. So yeah, uh, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If this helped and it worked, please leave a like and subscribe for more good content. This is Frido, and I'll see you in another video.